Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. Happy Thursday to you and happy National Vanilla Ice Cream Day. Now, ice cream, who doesn't love ice cream? Today, we're gonna make a non-fried fried ice cream. That's right, you heard me right. A non-fried fried ice cream, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do this. So what I'm using here, I have some regular flakes. These are just, just a wheat flake, like a corn flake, okay? But these actually have a cinnamon flavor. And that's one of the great things about this dish is that cinnamon flavor. I also have some pecans in here. Now, I have it in a Ziploc. We're just gonna mash this up. And I have a pan with some butter in it that's heating up and melting. So we just wanna make crumbs. That's what we're doing. We're just making crumbs, kinda get both sides. And if you wanna run this in a food processor, you can. great because it lets you work out a little anxiety all right get that exercise out of it all right that's good now here's what i want to do i'm going to go ahead and turn our fire up and the whole point of doing this is so that we can get this toasted all right all right hop on in we're just going to toast this in this butter and you know, if you've ever had fried ice cream at a restaurant, one of the main flavors you get are cinnamon. So let's put a little more cinnamon in. And I think cinnamon is that important flavor that's gonna be in here. Now, I wanna just go ahead and get this going. And you know, you're gonna start to see it toast. You're gonna start to smell it, kinda getting toasted. That's all we have to do. We wanna just cook this for a few minutes. You notice how it's absorbing that butter but it's going to get a nice toasted taste to it, all right? Now, if you wonder where fried ice cream came from, all right, there are a few different places that, that claim it, all right? Basically, in the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, that's where they said it was first made there, okay? And guess what else was made there? The first ice cream sundae was made at that World's Fair. But, you know, later on it said it was made to be done, it wasn't until 1960. Do you guys remember the restaurant chain Chi Chi's? Chi Chi's was a Mexican restaurant chain that started serving that fried ice cream ball that I think that's where everybody starts to remember it from. But remember, this goes way back early on. You know, even in Australia, they have fried ice cream and they attribute it to some of the Asian cultures because they would make a tempura batter Freeze the ice cream in a hard ball, dip it in the tempura batter, and keep frying it, and fry it really quick. So it had like that thin outside pancake batter, okay? But what we've got accustomed to is that crunchy outside, and that's what we're doing here. So thanks to the folks back into the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago. Who'd ever thought, all right? Let's fry some ice cream. So here, you can see this is getting really hot. I have the fire on high. You know, you have to melt your butter on a low fire because we don't want that butter to burn, okay? And here, this doesn't have to be on the fire too long because we don't want it to burn. But two things are happening. It's picking up that toasted taste at the same time that butter is going to give it a nice, rich flavor as well. See, I can smell it now. I can smell that toasted flavor coming. We can see some smoke coming off of our pan, and it's important that we do keep this moving. If we don't keep it moving, it is gonna burn on the bottom of the pan. So let's go ahead and turn this off. I have a sheet pan here. And the only thing I've done with this sheet pan, I've lined it with a little piece of parchment paper, all right? So now let's just go ahead and dump all of this right on out onto our sheet pan. And I'm gonna spread this out. See, that didn't take too long. I'm gonna spread this out because now we have to let this cool, all right? Because we don't want to, we're working with ice cream. So that's why we need this cool. And I thought it'd be neat to do it in a sheet pan because when we get ready to coat our ice cream, we can kind of use a parchment paper to help pull up the sides and get all around it. So let's let this cool and I'll get our ice cream and we'll be ready to get our ice cream coated. Now guys, 
our cereal has really cooled. And you know, if you want, we did cinnamons and pecans. What about taking some mini chocolate chips? You could put some mini chocolate chips in here if you like chocolate, okay? So what I'm doing now, how about taking a muffin tin? This is a piece of parchment paper. Now, you notice I'm wearing gloves. You don't have to put gloves on, but you know, our hands are warm. And we wanna to try to keep this ice cream really cold. So if you have hot hands, put them in cool water to keep them cold for a minute, dry them off, and see, we're gonna just pick up our ice cream. Oh, come on out. And I'm just gonna fall, shape it into a nice ball. So now we'll roll it to get it covered. And you see, this is where our tray comes in handy. Look at that. See how nice it, oh, almost fell down. Now, of course, if you wanna make them small, if you wanna make them big, it doesn't matter the size, but this is one of those things where you do have to work a little quick. And that's why it's nice to keep your hands cool you know, to put your hands in a little cold water, a little ice bath, so you say. All right. Now, if you don't want to shape them into a bowl like this, of course, we could put them in a bowl and just sprinkle the cereal on top of them. OK, so look at that. That last one's ready. And of course, we can put this in a Ziploc to save for next time. Now, we need to put these in the freezer for at least 10 minutes before we get ready to serve them. Because after handling them, we want them to be nice and firm. So into the freezer they'll go for about 10 minutes and I'll show you how to dress them. Our ice cream is nice and hard now. Now, the way I like to serve it, just keep it simple. Let's take it, put it right in a bowl. Now, if you want, you could drizzle some chocolate over the top, but here, all right, you know, caramel, drizzle caramel over it, that'll work as well. But let's do a little whipped cream. A little whipped cream on top, we can grab a nice cherry. If it wants to cooperate and come on out, I know I can get a cherry out of here. Let's pop a cherry right on top. Now, you could take something like pop a shortbread cookie next to it, or pop a couple of, you know, thin Oreos next to it, or, or a sugar cookie. But look at that. So here we have our non-fried fried ice cream to celebrate National Vanilla Ice Cream Day. So for WWL, I'm Chef Kevin Belton, and hopefully you have a sweet day. Keep washing those hands and put that mask on. We'll see you soon.